Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Now today, I've got to be perfectly honest with you here. Because I have been hypercritical recently, and may I just say with justification, I just wanted to, to change the tone, you know, to maybe make things a little bit more upbeat. So yesterday, I put the Collector's Edition unboxing for Witcher 3 on my channel, because I thought that'd be pretty cool to have a look at a really unbelievably amazing game and also some cool features that you can get for your buck you kind of get bang for your buck with that today i wanted to do something well related of the same vein maybe there was something on the latest build of the ptr for 6.2 that went up last night that caught my attention and just bring you a video on that and we can stem it that way but oh no oh no 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 another blizzard dev has to open their mouth and sound like a complete fucking moron. And I just can't let this stuff go. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. Because these people have got to be brought to task. And what's coming out of their mouths now is so obscenely ridiculous that they are treating us like idiots. Like we are just moronic, brainless idiots idiots. So what am I referring to? Well, it's not going to surprise a lot of you that this comes right back to the mythic rune saber and the bigger picture, which is purchasing mounts from the Blizzard store. Now we have this post here by somebody who started off brave and unfortunately uh, original poster. By the time you got to your final edit, you really had just rolled over on your belly because you got a blue posting in your thread and uh, completely hold up the white flag, which is a shame if you'd held your convictions and, and kind of gone through the information that was provided to you properly from Bastiok, uh, then maybe you would have had a different attitude. But the question is that the store mount video has been 90% downvoted, only 10% likes, 90 odd percent dislikes. I've even got the, I think the highest... <laughs> thumbed up comment on that video as I talk about them, uh, you know, not putting any content in the game, but going for a quick cash grab. Um, and then he puts, people don't want this content, Blizz. Correct. I absolutely agree with you. They want more rewards and locked in game. Correct. I absolutely agree with you. No wonder why people are leaving. That is definitely a reason why people are leaving. They're not feeling as if they've got enough content to do. And I think that the reward system in Warlords of Draenor is not particularly rewarding at all. So, before we get to some edits of his, let's see what the actual response was from Bashiok. And this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Mounts take a fairly significant amount of time to create. Oh, boo fucking who to you. And in this case, the Rune Saber mount was made somewhere in the 6.0 production time frame. Oh, really? So, so we had content probably lost you know, Stormwind not completed because, you know, making a storm out, folks. And I believe that it was actually completed before patch 6.1 hit the PTR. Creation of storm mounts is intentionally consistent and takes place months before they actually release. In this case, we actually waited a bit as we wanted to ensure the WoW token rollout went smoothly without adding in the potential complications of a store mount going live at the same time. Do you know what that complication is, people? Do they not understand we can read between the lines? If they release at the same time, some people, instead of buying both, would have made a decision on which to purchase. <laughs> like, ooh, do I get a store mount? <laughs> or do I get this beautiful looking store mount? Or do I buy the WoW token? And Blizzard's like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to give you that option. We're going to put the WoW token out. Give us your money for that. We're going to leave it a couple of weeks, few weeks now. Then we're going to release the store mount. When you've gone through another payday and you've got a little bit more money to spend. That's the complication. Oi, oi, oi. In short, he continues, we didn't crank this thing out yesterday as an answer to someone. Production takes, that's probably a stab at my comment. Production takes a long time and we have them on a regular um, uh, cadence, which release cadence, which means that we're going to get more and more of them. They're going to keep rolling them out on a regular basis. So you can be certain that every few months there will be a new store mount. Now, I didn't imply that they just immediately made a mount and threw it onto the Blizzard store. 
what I implied when I did my comment on, which I'll probably put on the screen now, on the video was the cynical launch. The cynical launch of that mount. We knew it was in the PTR for 6.1. We'd seen it. You know, it's not something that was new. I've done a video on it ages ago on my channel, maybe even a couple of them. Um, so, you know, it wasn't as if I was saying, yeah, you just whacked it out, whacked it on. No, it was this cynical nature of we've lost 3 million subscribers. And then it was like, okay, we need to recoup money. Now it's time to make that WoW store mount go live. That's what I was referring to. Not just smash it up, get it on there. We knew it was there. Pay attention to my channel. No, it was the cynical nature of how they did it. But this is, that bit is sort of like, meh, compared to what's coming up next. <laughs> because this is what we get afterwards. As for why we make mounts for the store at all, most obviously, of course, of course, he says, as if it's absolute credence, of course, because there is a significant portion of players that like being able to purchase cosmetic items for real money. <laughs> when the only option to purchase their item is with real money, that is the only way they can do it. So you can't then tarnish them with that brush saying, well, because people bought it, obviously they just want to throw their money at us. What happens if that mount was in the game and on the Blizzard store mount? Huh? On the on the Blizzard store. What if they were in both and then people had an option about how to actually get the item? Do I go through the pathway uh, in game to get it? Or do I go through the shortcut and throw some money at the Blizzard store? Then I think you would see a significant change in the percentage rate of 100% suddenly going down quite drastically. But that's not all, because Bashok wants to make a comparison, a really clever comparison. And yes, I am being massively sarcastic. Certainly, there is also a desire by a significant portion of the players to be able to obtain the Iron Hoof Destroyer from Mythic Blackhand. Not everyone will be able to, or maybe even want to, obtain either mount. How can you compare getting a mount from the final boss of a raid on Mythic Difficulty with flicking a button on the Blizzard store and purchasing a mount with money? <laughs> the comparison is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. So what are you saying? If we were to take these mounts off the Blizzard store and put them in game, all we would do is hide them behind mythic bosses? Mythic final bosses, mind you. Not just any old mythic boss. No, it would be the final boss. <laughs> it's an absolute ludicrous analogy. Ludicrous analogy. Anyway. But we know that a wide variety of players look for a wide variety of acquisition methods for cosmetic items. I totally go with you on that point, Bashok. I absolutely go with you on that point. Do you know what? I'll go a little bit further, though. I bet you that wide variety of player base would prefer it all to be in-game, though. Can I get it through this method of content? Could I get it through that method of content? Could I get it through the other method of content? You know what I'm talking about? That's what people would be looking for. So it's not just hidden all behind raids. And it's not just hidden all behind mythic final bosses either. That you could get it through a quest chain. That you could get it through a dungeon drop. That you could get it from a rare elite. That you could get it through treasure hunting. That you could get it through archaeology. That you could get it through other methods. Profession questings, all that kind of jazz. Even mining, suddenly a node's got something inside. Oh my God, it's a magic miracle. Anything could be a potential way of getting that mount. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, so let's continue. <laughs> also, certainly different players will look differently at these two mounts based off their acquisition method. So again, he's just trying to compare a Blizzard Store mount to a final mythic boss dropping a mount, which is, again, ludicrous. Stupid and ludicrous. 
as for the main reason why we don't mix game and mounts and, and store mounts, if somebody buys a mount off the shop, we don't want there to be confusion as to whether it's the shop version or a recolor <laughs> obtained through in-game means. So he basically just says, you know, for in-game, we'll just do some recolors for you. But for the shop, no, we will create something unique and special for the shop. Fuck you in game, but for the shop, we'll just create something special for you. Give us your money. Kaching, kaching, kaching. We essentially purposely ensure mount uh, shop mounts stand out as shop mounts. What a dick. Seriously, what an absolute dick. That's so we're they're just saying we make shop mounts special and different. Um, in game mounts, yeah, the likelihood is it's most likely gonna be a re a recolor. And, let, and even the myth, uh, the Mystic Rune Saber, it's technically a reskin. <laughs> I mean, it's a panther. It's not as if panthers are a brand new, you know, a brand new um, so, uh, creature to the world of Warcraft or anything like that. No, it's a reskin panther that they've made absolutely gorgeous, that they've put a brand new saddle on, and then they've made these arcane wings of greed proc out from the side of the saddle so that it can fly. Obviously not in Draenor, because you can't fly in Draenor. Uh, but it can fly in other areas. So your Blizzard Storm mount is essentially a reskin Blizzard, but you've put time and effort into it. Time and effort, clearly, by your comment right there, that you're not prepared to put into it if it was in-game for the rest of us. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's move on to the next piece, which again is absolutely mind-blowing. So the person puts, not to sound like a Blizzard drone, as people put it, but as a tad rude, because he's referring to somebody above him there, saying, at this point, you should be paid to not post anything. Which, you know, that's a nothing common. It's just somebody having a dig, but whatever. Uh, I do concur with the original poster. This is the important information in this, this response. That what people want is more in-game content, and that amount is not sufficient to that want. And then he puts, yeah, of course. No one said people want more content. Let's make a mount. And that's sort of my point. These will be released regularly regardless and aren't tied to the game content, other game content. Are you, honestly, are you fucking dumb? Nobody says, let's just have mounts as content, Blizzard. What we're saying is if these mounts are in the fucking game, because there are 10 of them currently on the Blizzard store, Look at all the content that would be created around the acquisition of them. That's what we're saying. So we're not just saying throw them willy-nilly into the game. We're saying we are so desperate and devoid of really interesting and different content to do outside of grinding Apexis crystals and sitting with a thumb up our ass in our garrison that you could have created cool and interesting storyline, quest lines, events for these mounts to be obtained in game so that's what we're saying so again it's just it's as if he's just treating us like children like fucking idiots it's absolutely unbelievable also of course the crux of the complaint isn't really i believe that this mount exists but just that some people think it's poor timing to be selling something while they're looking for a new raid tier etc well that's kind of right in a, in a essence people are just like we are desperate for stuff to do. 6.1 was a complete pile of fucking wank. 6.0's content at end game, not building up. The leveling was freaking awesome. But at end game, dried up really quickly indeed. You lose 3 million subscribers, clearly because you can't, um, you don't look after your customer base and by your attitude half the time, you don't even give a toss about your customer base. And then you immediately announce your sub losses and then a couple of days later say, but good news, everyone, open up your wallets, a cash grab is incoming. Really cynical, Blizzard, really bad timing. You couldn't care because obviously you just went balls deep straight ahead with that release of it. We knew the mount was there. We knew it was there weeks ago. Your timing sucked and was really, really bang out of order. And also, a mount that a lot of people really love the look of. Really love the look of as well. And they would have loved to have seen that in-game as some sort of item that could be obtained through another method. 
Uh, here we go. I don't think there's anything anyone can say to that except for us to just keep working on and release the content that they're looking for. But you're not! You're not doing that at all! 6.1 was a sham! An absolute sham! There was like 0.5% originality in it and 99.5% rehash! Rehash the dungeons, rehash the dailies, rehash the garrison invasions. And I'm desperate to think of anything new. I think the Harrison Ford uh, quest line to get him as a follower, uh, when he popped up in the garrison, those six quest lines were, were relatively new. And even the bosses summoned into your garrison, they're still the same fucking bosses. There weren't anything new there. So yeah, it was just like 99.5% rehash. So you're not working on content for people to do and and with 6.2 coming out and the fact of the matter is 6.2 folks don't get too excited yes there's a raid tier coming but my god your content dries out so quickly it might as well just be a freaking desert after that because it's just rehash stuff but you'll get to that when i do my review videos and stuff but you know i'm not i would say just take everything with a pinch of salt right now but in any case, he continues, I thought I'd try to offer a reasoned response as to how this mount is not an answer to anything, but just a standard timed release like the other ones before it. Oh, that's just, you know, that's just, that's just rhetoric. That's just nothing. That's just fresh air. Trying to answer a reasoned response. Reasoned response. Try to, try to compare a mythic end game end boss mount to buy an office store try to say that if we just threw it onto the game it threw the mounts into the game that's not content oh no because he just completely missed the fact that the content is actually constructed around the purchase of the mounts and shrugged and, and, and said tough shit more more incoming and also we yes we are absolutely making sure that the store mounts look different from your reskins in game when there are eight wolves to get and there are uh, seven balls to get, and five talbucks, and five elks, and, and, and two cleft hooves at the moment, a third cleft hoof coming, uh, and actually another ball coming in 6.2, so it's going to be uh, eight balls as well, three cleft hooves. You know, there's so little, there's, there's a few grons, uh, gronlings coming in 6.2 as well. So we get such little originality in mount, but folks... Don't worry, because on a regular basis, you're always going to have your Blizzstorm mount incoming, and it will look special. So yeah, it was it was oh, such an annoying thing to read. Really, really annoying thing to read. And, and uh, it, it went on. Some people continued, and he continued to just, you know, back and forth uh, between the two. But there was nothing really there that said anything additional to what? what we got from those two two pieces of the post so it, i just found that so uh, you know idiotic to come out with some of these these uh, phrases and sayings uh, he, he seemed to have such little respect for the community and the fact that we pay a subscription fee you know, never at one time was a subscription fee mentioned. Oh, by the way, yes, we understand that you pay a subscription fee and we're probably not even giving you enough content at all to compensate for the fact that every month you're paying £10 or $15 or 12 and a half euros, whatever it may be. You know, never mind that you're shelling that out every single month to support us doing fuck all to support this expansion, but... On a regular basis, folks, you're going to get a unique looking, awesome, sexy Blizzard Store mount to throw more, more money at. And uh, yes, we'll probably time that to go alongside some more subscription losses uh, if we need to to recoup uh, some of our money back. But yeah, it, it got my go, as you can probably tell. But I think I don't think I've calmed down once in this 19, 20 minutes. <laughs> it really got my go. Um, I thought that was a very cynical post as well. Uh, again, very blasé post by Blizzard developer Kel Freaking Surprise. Uh, very disrespectful one. Uh, and one that just, just treaters like cattle. Just absolutely treaters like cattle. But I've been interested to see what your point is in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, just when you want to do a, a, just a regular video to try and break things up. 
uh, and more dumb fuckery comes out of uh, Blizzdev's mouth. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everyone. Bye-bye.